Welcome to the FileAid MVS Search Update Utility module. Here you will learn how this utility can extend your browse and edit capabilities. The Search Update Utility provides extended browse and edit capabilities allowing you to do the following. Preview and perform updates in place to any size of standard MVS file including libraries. Use find and change commands across multiple members. Make mass changes to entire JCL libraries. Process JCL as logical statements rather than individual records. Use selection criteria to generate member lists for processing. And use selection criteria for quick searches in a temporary data set. From the FileAid primary menu, choosing option 3.6 takes you to the Search Update Utility panel. The three options available, Member Processing, Browsing, and Updating, are discussed separately in this module. Required for all options is the dataset information, and common to all options is the choice to process either online or batch. Preview and Audit Trail choices are shown for the Update option and Standard Selection Criteria may be used for the Member Processing and Browse options only. Going back to the three options, Member Processing allows you to execute a Find or Change command across multiple members of a PDS. You may select or exclude members prior to executing a find or change, and a change preview is available prior to commit. Browse is allowed for any file type, including libraries, and the optional display of record information helps to exactly locate a given value. Updating displays screens to specify selection criteria and corresponding change criteria in unformatted mode. Your changes may be previewed prior to committing, and the optional audit trail shows before and after images. These options are discussed in order. You may also use the navigation panel on the left to choose your viewing sequence. We begin by choosing option M. The dataset is a PDS containing JCL and we will process online. For illustration, we will not process in JCL format. Note that the standard file aid member selection options are available for filtering. In this example, no filtering is done. Here we see the list of members available for processing. The message line reminds us that find and change commands may be used. Line commands are available as well for operations prior to applying a find or change. Here we specify a find for a unit parameter. The result shows each record containing the unit parameter member names are identified. The selected count applies to records. We will rerun the same find command, but this time we will process in JCL format. We enter the command and see how the results differ. This shows each JCL statement containing the unit parameter. Here is one logical JCL statement, but three physical records. Again, the number selected applies to records. Back on the member list screen, it is noted that omitting the find or change operands will display a prompt panel. The F without operands displays the PDS find command panel. Similarly, 
the C without operands displays the PDS change command panel. As a reminder, these options are covered in the FileAid MVS Online Browse Edit Basics module. In the next example, we will look at a change command in JCL format with some interesting consequences. Here we see the JCL where we want to change a string to a longer string. That is, change the keep parameter to delete. On line 4, the longer string should present no problem because there is room at the end of the line. This is not the case with line 6. Let's see what happens. We enter the change command and find that line 4 was changed as expected. On line 6, however, the content was actually shifted to the left to accommodate the longer parameters. We will now alter the file and try again. This time there is not enough room at either end of the line. Again we enter the change command. This time we see an error message because truncation has occurred. The solution here is to process in batch mode, then edit the JCL generated to run FileAid. Look for the update all function. Change that to copy all, remove the PDS stats parameter, and add an appropriate DD statement for the output file. You may want to copy the JCL to a permanent file to run again later. When you do run the batch job and examine the results, you will find that, instead of the truncation and error message, FileAid has added a new line to the JCL to accommodate the longer parameter. In this next example in the member processing area, we enter the dataset information and specify no for JCL format. On the member list screen, we enter a find command. The result shows all members containing the open input string. Exiting the result, we bypass printing the report and return to the member list where we see how many hits occurred in each member. Members with no hits are not shown, but the reset command may be used to restore the full member list. For the final example in the member processing area, we enter the dataset information and specify no for JCL format. These are COBOL programs and we want to change names beginning with error dash to ERR dash. We enter the change command, then view the results, which are in a temporary file. Upon exiting the results view, we are given the option to complete the update. Upon choosing No, we return to the member list. The action taken message is shown. For the first example of the Browse option, we enter the B and the dataset name. Next, we choose to display record information. This option only displays when browsing a PDS. This is important because the last setting used here is also used for other file types where this option does not display. When the file comes into view, we see that the file characteristics are displayed. The PDS is treated as one large file with the members denoted on the display. The first record is in the first member. Scrolling forward, we see that the record numbering continues from member to member. For the next example, we enter a different dataset name and go directly to viewing the file. 
This one is sequential with variable length records. We see that the first record is 184 bytes, the second is 160, the third is 116, and so on. For the last example, we again enter the dataset name and again go directly to viewing the file. This is a vSAM KSDS. Note that the record information now contains the RBA for each record. For the first example of the update option, we enter the U and the dataset name. This is a PDS. Note that the execution information applies only to online updating. Also, the selection criteria does not apply to update processing. We will see why shortly. Moving forward, we will process in JCL format. The next panel is where all the work is done, specifying selection criteria and corresponding change criteria. This panel is very similar to the unformatted selection criteria panel shown here. If you are not familiar with unformatted selection criteria, it is strongly recommended that you view the unformatted selection criteria module. The knowledge base presented there is assumed for writing change criteria here. The standard relational operators are used to specify selection sets and new relational operators are used to specify changes to the data. The basic descriptions for replace and replace all and edit and edit all appear on the panel. Simply put, replace and replace all are used when the new data is the same length as the current data. Edit and edit all are used when the new data is longer or shorter than the current data, causing other data on the line to be shifted either to the left or to the right. The specific rules for handling exceptions, and in particular JCL, are completely covered in the tutorial. Just press F1 when you arrive at this panel. Remember that at least one change operator, that is, replace or edit, must be used for each selection set. We will continue with this example and look at two others as well. Recall that we are working with a PDS containing JCL. Our specification is to scan the JCL statements beginning at record position 1 looking for disposition share. When found, change it to disposition old. The current data and the new data are the same length, so replace is used. We have one selection set and one change operator. Viewing the results, we see the changed indicator to the right. This is, of course, only a temporary file so the changes have not as yet been applied. Upon exiting this preview, we see that updating is optional. In the next example, also working with a PDS containing JCL, we scan the JCL statements beginning at record position 3, looking for dataset names beginning with FASAMP. When found, change it to testData.FASAMP. The new data is longer than the current data, so edit is used to shift the data. We have one selection set of multiple lines and one change operator. Viewing the results, again we see the change indicator to the right. In the final example, the file is a vSAM KSDS and we will create an audit trail.
The next panel displayed has the standard file aid selection criteria options assumed to be familiar to you. We will go with the defaults and the change criteria panel comes into view. As you are not expected to be familiar with this file, we will tell you that for the first selection set, we want to find employees living in New York and California with a tax withholding rate less than 30%. When found, change the tax withholding to 31%. For the second selection set, we want to find employees living in Illinois and Georgia. When found, change their city to any town and change their zip code to all nines. Here we see the results with hex display enabled. One record contains any town and a zip code of all nines and the other record has the packed amount at 31 percent. Upon exiting the preview we answer yes to perform the update. The next panel displays the audit trail options and we submit the job. Browsing the audit trail, note that there is a header record and all subsequent data records have a 29 byte prefix area. Turning on the hex display and scrolling to the right, we see that Chicago and 60611 have been changed to any town and all nines and PACT 25 has been changed to PACT 31. For more information on the Search Update Utility, the File Aid MVS User's Guide and Online Reference Manual are downloadable from Frontline. This concludes this module. Thank you.